think back to the material that we covered in lecture one and the videos on truth tables, we can see that the statements P implies Q and not Q implies not P have the same values in the truth tables. So they are logically equivalent. They are telling us the same things. Because if every time P is true, then Q is also true. That means that every time Q is false, we must know that P is also false. So not Q is implying not P. If I get a little bit less abstract here, if I have the statement, I have no brothers or sisters, call that P, then Q can be the statement, I have no brothers. If somebody tells me they have no brothers or sisters, I know they have no brothers. But the contrapositive of that involves negating both statements and reversing the direction of implication. The negation of I have no brothers is I have a brother, possibly more than one. And the negation is of I have no brothers or sisters is that I have a brother or sister, possibly more than one. So the contrapositive is that I have a brother implies I have a brother or sister. So just as P implies Q, the negation of Q, not Q, implies the negation of P, not P. When you're trying to work out contrapositives, make sure that you haven't changed the information in the statement. Because if the original statement is true, when I phrase it as a contrapositive, it should also be true. If the original statement is false, when I phrase it as a contrapositive, it should also be false. I shouldn't have a true statement that I work out the equivalent contrapositive for, and suddenly a true statement has become false, or the other way around. This idea of rewriting statements in their contrapositive form gives us the bedrock of another powerful method of proof. Maybe, for whatever reason, we can't directly prove that P implies Q, but we can prove that not Q implies not P. Then recognizing that P implies Q and not Q implies not P are logically equivalent, then I can say that proving the contrapositive form has therefore proven the original statement. If we return to the example which we saw in the section on direct proof, and that was wanting to show that if we had an integer n such that n squared was even, then I wanted to prove that n itself must also be even. When I tried to do that directly, we got to a statement that did not actually justify that n must be even. But if I negate the statements, what I know, and reverse the implication, then what I want to show that if n is not even, then n squared is not even because n not even implying n squared not even is the contrapositive of n squared is even implies n is even, negating both statements and reversing the direction of implication. So this is exactly the example I tried previously to prove directly without contrapositives and I failed. We take now that n is an odd number, just as I could write an even number as saying there existed another integer s, such that two lots of s gave me my number, this is odd. So I have to take two lots of s and then add on one to get n. So every odd number, every odd integer can be written as two lots of another integer 
plus one. So now I know that I can write n as two lots of another integer s plus one. My proof wants to be about n squared, so I square n. So 2s plus 1 all squared gives me 2s all squared, which is 4s squared. 2 lots of s times 1 plus 1 lot of 2s plus 1 times 1. So I get 4s squared plus 4s plus 1, which I can write as 2 lots of 2s squared plus 2s with one left over. So two lots of another integer plus one. So n squared is odd because it's written as two lots of another integer plus one. So I have shown that if n is odd, then n squared must be odd. So what I've actually shown here is that if 2 does not divide n, i.e. n is odd, then 2 does not divide n squared, i.e. n squared is odd. So if I negate both of the statements, or rather remove the not signs, I'm reversing the direction of the implication. So n being odd implies n squared being odd. So that's the same as saying n squared is even implies n is even, which is what I originally wanted to prove. So we've done the proof by contrapositive that we could not do directly without, without changing the statements or rewriting the statements in this logically equivalent form.